Hey there, Saki here from Saki Tech, and in today's video, I would like to demonstrate some of the best iOS 11 features for the iPad Pro. Specifically, I want to talk about the new dock and some great multitasking features, as well as the new file explorer. So let's dive in. And just so you know, in this video, I'm using an iPad Pro 9.7 inch tablet for demonstration. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is the new dock that they added on iOS 11 for the iPad. Now, this is not a feature you're gonna find on the iPhone. This is an iPad exclusive dock. And basically, it's almost like the dock on the Mac computers, which means it's customizable. So I can actually uh, remove apps off of it if I want to, or I can add apps back to it and put it right back on the dock. Oops, there we go. And if you look over here, you'll see that there's a divider in the dock. So you have the first part and the second part. The second part basically is the dock where the dock populates most frequently used apps and other uh, continuity features. If you're using an app on your iPhone, it might actually show up here. So you can launch it right from here if you're using the continuity features. So that's the dock and it's not that hard, okay? The other thing with this dock is obviously when you launch an application, the dock disappears. But if you want to reaccess the dock while you are in an application, all you do is swipe from bottom to top slightly and the dock comes right back. And this is going to allow you to switch applications if you so desire. So if you want to go to Safari, you just tap that. Now, what if you want to access the recently running applications? Basically, what you do is you can do two things. You can either double tap the home button that brings up this brand new interface that I'm going to talk about in a second or instead of swiping slightly towards upwards, you keep going. And that brings up the multitasking pane and the new control center that's been consolidated into this big screen. So you got the dock, multitasking pane, and the control center. And I'm gonna come back to that in a second, but this is another way to switch between apps that were already running. So I can swap back and forth, just like I did on the iOS 10, just the interface a little bit different. And again, if I go back in there, and if I wanna close an app, what I do is I press and hold, which uh, brings it X symbols on top of the apps, and then you can uh, close the apps that way. So that's the dock, the multitasking pane, and let's take a look at the control center. Let me just pull this down for a minute, and let's uh, swipe from bottom to top. You can do this right here, and that also brings up the uh, multitasking pane and the control center. So the control center is the new control center that's a consolidated thing. And of course, you can go ahead and press any one of these buttons uh, if you press and hold, it expands the menu so you can change the brightness over here. If you tap this guy over here, you can uh, change the volume up and down. And uh, you've got your music player right there. Uh, you've got the camera, so if I tap this, it's going to give me some options, take a photo or whatever. They'll be adding more options to this. And of course, we've got our home kit, which used to be on a separate screen under the control center, but now it's right here. So it's, it's, uh, it's in the front lines, and if you tap and hold it, it brings up all the options that you would normally see on iOS 10, but this time it's uh, in the front lines. Now I'm gonna move into actual multitasking in a second. Split screen multitasking and slide over multitasking are all of these great features that we have on the iPad and they have been modified. But before I do that, I just wanna let you guys know, you can actually edit this control panel. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into settings and uh, you wanna go into the control center and then this allows you to actually remove stuff or add extra stuff if you so desire. So if I tap on screen recording, I now have the screen recording option. And if I go back out and I pull up the notifications panel, there's a new option here that is screen recording. If I tap that, it's going to start to record the screen. Kind of self-explanatory, but you know, just thought I'd mention that. So you can edit and add more things to it. And hopefully, as time goes by, they'll add even more stuff. And of course, if you want to remove something, you go back into the same setting, just tap it, click remove. Now, when I go back out, we have a less of a control center. And next up, let's talk about split screen multitasking and slide over multitasking. So basically what you want to do is let's say I launch the news application. And let's say that I want to run Safari on the side here as a slide over, not split screen, but as a slide over. All I do, is bring up the dock, uh, grab Safari, and just put it right over here, okay? So the funny thing is, it's gonna be in this little narrow window. You can use this or you can use this, no problem. Okay, you can even type in and go to another website, whatever. That's Safari. 
But let's say that you don't want to do slide over. Let's say you have the thing here, you did your stuff, and then suddenly you realize you need more space. You can actually transition into split screen multitasking this way. All you do is grab that line and pull this thing down, okay? And that's gonna activate the split screen multitasking that allows you to use half of the screen or maybe you wanna use more of the screen, okay? So that's split screen multitasking. By the way, if you don't want any of these apps, you can just slide them away. So let's say I'm done with the news application. I can simply slide that away and that goes back to the regular window. So just remember the distinction between uh, slide over, which is this, that's the slide over view, and the split screen multitasking, which is this, which allows you to resize the screens, okay? So that's basically some of the new stuff, or rather some of the refined stuff we get on the iOS 11. I really do love this uh, dock. It, you know, it, gives it, it gives your uh, iPad some level of customization, and I, of course, love the uh, new notifications, uh, the control center, I'm sorry, which is here, and it's customizable, editable. You can add stuff to it, remove stuff from it, and of course, you can see a preview window here. Now, one more thing, when you start a split screen uh, mode, uh, work mode, uh, let's say you're working on it and you wanna go out and do something else. If you press the home button, it takes you out. But when you bring up the multitasking pane back, that split screen retains itself for uh, access. So you can actually continue working in this split screen mode without having to redo the whole thing, okay? So that's a, that's a good feature. But that's basically what I want to touch on on the iPad. Uh, there's some other new things such as the file explorer. So if I tap this over here, uh, we have the new file explorer that is the same thing you would get on a Mac or a PC. Uh, you can access your iCloud drive, what's on your iPad, which you have deleted recently, and you can, you're gonna be able to access all your cloud storage anywhere, not just iCloud, it's gonna be uh, Dropbox, Google Drive, whatever. So if I tap edit over here, it allows me to add even more stuff. Now it is, right now it's brand new, so we don't have much going on, but they're gonna be adding more and more stuff uh, as, we, as we get more updates. But basically, I wanted to talk about the new dock, which is right here, and the multitasking modes and other dock options. Well, thank you for watching this video, guys. Make sure you subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come and give this video a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Let me know how you guys feel about this new update. Uh, they did an update on the iPhone as well, uh, but the iPad actually has these uh, docking features and the multitasking features are only available on the iPads. So let me know what you think about that and uh, make sure you guys have a fantastic day. See you the next time.